You'll notice I don't have a projection file for this shape file here, which is also over here. If you do have a um, projection file and it's still projecting in a really crazy way, or you don't know the projection and you can't figure it out, delete that projection file or rename it, and you can start from scratch and figure out which projection it is. Now how I do this is I bring them both, bring one file that I actually know the projection of, um, this is my county limits, and it's in projection add UTM zone 10. I, that one's projected correctly. This red one, the creprohedral layer, is not. I need to figure out which projection it's in. So how I go about doing this is I bring them both into the project, and then I go into the project properties, the data frame properties, and change the, the projection on the data frame. So right now I'm in um, state plane north, and if I want to change it to, let's say, state plane south, or state plane 1927, well, it moved over a little bit up here. It didn't correctly do it. So this time I'm going to try 1983 zone 10, zone 10 north. Up. Oh, now I have it in the correct projection. And you can zoom in and find out if it's really correct or not because you might have to switch between 1983 and 1927. And after you've found the projection, and over here in the search, or if you have to, you may have to bring bring the search here. Click on that, and it'll show up. And you type in project, and it'll search. And then you want to define projection. Make sure it's not the coverage because we're working on a shape file. Make sure it's this one. Click and drag it in here, or you can use the drop down right here and choose the correct projection that you just figured out. And you'll notice it locked it. And we wait a few seconds. And over here it says define projection. The check mark means it's been projected. So now it has a projection.